That's why they did it, because they had to work fast, and, you know, it worked. You know, it worked. So in fiction land, it worked. That's why the color is blue here and blue here. But uh, when that, whatever it was, hit him in the head, it broke his helmet, and it tore his brain open. It just crushed it. Uh, it actually broke his helmet. Um, and there's a picture in the fiction world of www.cinephiles.com uh, of a picture of him sitting in the car. And the car has hit the wall. And the wheel is, is uh, this wheel is gone. This wheel is kicked in. That A arm, this left A arm survived the accident. It's sitting up here like this with that piece sitting across the car. And what you see is the visor is down on his head, and there is a piece of the helmet missing. And you're going to see the white balaclava, and right here is a groove in the white balaclava. That piece of helmet actually. Uh, there's a rubber ring that runs around the helmet and when whatever hit him in the helmet and broke this piece of helmet out this piece actually fell down in the opening like this held on uh, by that uh, piece of rubber strip and, and his head was exposed and his brains were he was breathing out his brains he was actually expiring and parts of brain matter was coming out of his nose, so he was pretty much dead as hell. But that's why it happened. And you know what? I gotta say something too. These guys didn't stop this. This is what makes me mad. The whole thing makes me mad because I was a fan of this guy. And he found himself in a situation that he didn't have a choice about because he had people that depended on him and he wanted, did not want to dis disappoint him. And he paid for it. He died. Um, but I be firmly believe that uh, Brains was having an argument with a guy in later years that I shall call Vodka McStompin. And Vodka had sponsors who were not uh, contracted to pay this other guy enough money. So Vodka wasn't going to win any championships ever. And he was telling uh, Brains worked on another team. But he was telling Brains, I don't want this son of a bitch to finish a race. I want him to be embarrassed until he tells me, until he comes to me and lets me have my cut of his sponsorship money, he ain't going to win a championship. So Brains made sure that car broke as many times as he could make it break. And Vodka called him on and said, you son of a bitch, I want you to stop making my car like this. Let's make the car so I can finish your race. And it got nasty. Well, you know, push come to shove. Oh, uh, I don't have that hammer, but there is a thing called a no-bounce hammer. This is not a no-bounce hammer, but there's a thing called a no-bounce hammer. You take a rag, and what you do is you take a rag like this, and you go into the car at night, and you go to the inside of the wing, and you go wham, 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 and then you go wham, wham, wham on the inside of the wing, and you crack the carbon fiber where it mounts. Well, vodka comes around the corner, and uh, the rear wing breaks off the car. Now, was Brian's trying to kill him? Because as fast as he was going, he could have killed him, but... Uh, you know, I think it was more uh, that Brains was angry, that uh, Vodka didn't understand that, guess what, I, I can kill you anytime I want, so just don't mess with me. And this other guy that I call the luckiest racer in the world, uh, he was on a team that, uh, you know, remember the motor manufacturer I said that this other guy ran a, away from Ayrton? Well, they came back into the series. And uh, when they came back in, you know, this guy that, that's a big man, he has a long memory. And he said, you know what, they're going to pay. And they did pay. And they paid billions. And they developed a world championship car. But by the time they developed that car, 
Now, the guy running that team was one of this guy's guys. And uh, he demoralized that manufacturer so much that they said, screw it, we're not, we're not even going to stay in, the, in this. And the other guy, the, the big guy, got some money and went to this other guy and said, I want you to buy this team. Car is ready for you to go. All you got to do is drop a motor in it. Go buy the team. I get part of the contract. Let's put this other guy in there. And uh, I can guarantee you a championship next year. And this guy was more than happy because he knows. A lot of these people in this series that are high up, they know. This is how things are done. So they work it all out. Well, this other guy that I was talking about, the luckiest race in the world, gets on this team. They needed him to do the setup because he's brilliant. Uh, and this other guy who's in, from the same country as all these guys that are in this little operation they got going, which you know what, I don't, I don't begrudge him it. I just don't understand why they killed everybody, but in any case, it's up to them. He was the guy that they wanted to win. Well, he was complaining. This other guy was complaining. So they jimmied with his car. And what they did was they left a bolt loose on the rear spring mount. And they left a, uh, a attachment wire, safety wire, off of a bolt. And what happened was it came loose. And what they were trying to do was they were pretty much trying to take him out of the series. Uh, unfortunately, they almost took somebody who had nothing to do with the series out of the series. Nothing to do with... Uh, nothing to do with uh, the setups in the series out of the series. They almost took an innocent person and killed him that day. Now they already killed two people. Uh, oh, and by the way, there was a guy that uh, they they after they killed Ayrton, this whole team went was uh, was called a court and. Uh, there was a guy that stepped forward and said, you know what, I see they were forced to, to give the in-car camera back to this court. And they doctored it as much as they could. Somebody doctored it as much as they could. But this guy said, I still see problems with this. This is not right. And you know what? Later on in another racing series, this guy died of mysterious circumstances. His rear tire lost pressure mysteriously, and he crashed and died. Now... Isn't that amazing? I just wonder if somebody helped him along on his way. Because they were getting tired of this guy talking about this accident. So that's something to think about. But anyway, let's get back to the guy, the luckiest racer in the world. Spring comes off, hits the other guy in the head, and you got to understand how good the racer this guy is. He drove the car with three essentially three wheels on the car <laughs> around the track back to the pits so uh and there was another time that uh this guy was so pissed off about the way the car was handling that uh he threw the damn steering wheel out the car so uh you got to understand that uh you need to get out of the series now i wouldn't even run the last race because they've been trying to kill your ass and you don't even know it. So in any case, that ends our fiction report of a fiction story, of a fictional character, of fictional people. I hope you liked it. I'm glad it's over. God bless everyone. I miss you, my racing brother, and everybody have a nice, nice year.